On September 19th, we had the privilege of sitting down with the lovely Mr. Villavallo of HIM to do a little quick 10-minute interview before their show down in Houston on the Rock Legions tour. So this is our interview. Hope you enjoy it. Be sure to check them out. You can find them on Facebook at facebook.com slash theheartogram. And eventually, maybe their website will be back up at heartogram.com. Here you go, Mr. Villavallo. So, uh, first thing first, real quick, I guess, uh, how's the tour going? How do you think it's going? Uh, doing well, you know, but it's, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, it's usually easier when you've done the tour and then you sit back and relax and you're like, oh, what the hell, we just did 28 <laughs> gigs in 35 days or something. You know, there's a lot of action, especially with this tour, you know, like um, co-headliners or whatever you want to call us, the support act, Volby, you know, the, um, the venues and the audiences have been really, really different, which is cool because it doesn't make it too easy and same old same old right so but uh, so, you know we've done there's some rock like uh, radio festivals as well so it's been uh, like amphitheaters and then like smaller sports arenas and then clubs so every day is a bit different it, it's, been, it's been okay but it's kind of like the tour is over around halloween when we're done with our european track right so we, when we're flying back we only have about four days get ready and then off we go again so it'll be just sleeping <laughs> sleeping it off and doing longer you know the usual usual uh-huh. um so i know some of the uh volbeat fans have been a little interesting at some of the shows apparently yeah yelling. well it depends it depends on the, it depends on the state you know in some places you know people seem to be enjoying the whole shebang and then in some places they're there when we play Los Angeles and half the audience left when we are done playing. <laughs> so it's been really odd in that sense, yeah. uh, man. And also because I think that Bobby and him, we do share a lot of similarities. You know, it's hard rock and stuff with no grunting and no shouting. It's melodic music and, and yet a wee bit melancholy as well. You know, we're both kind of Scandinavian bands. So, so it's, it's odd if people wouldn't understand or be able to appreciate. You don't have to love everything. But, All right. Um, you know, appreciate the stuff. So no, it's been okay. Obviously, there's you know people are yelling us to go back home, but you know that's normal. Yeah. yeah. So well, Dallas was good for you last night. So it was okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As far as I remember, yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, it was a good show. Um, well, since I don't have a whole lot of time, uh, okay. some things that fans have been wanting me to ask. Oh Lord! <laughs> Here we go again. No, no, <laughs> I went. I weeded out all the crazy people. Um. Heldon, we're doing Heldon this year? Do you know yet? No, well, we're just talking about it. So, ho- hope to, if it happens, hope to make it a bit different than the ones before. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, we just had a meeting the day before yesterday about Heldon and then future touring uh, regarding next year. Because there's been talk about maybe going to Australia, maybe going to Latin America for the first time, and maybe come back here to do a headline club tour, like a show one. The, the similar sort of thing was supposed to be doing in May, but could cancel because right. of the pneumonia and whatnot. So, so uh, um, just figuring that stuff out. If we can pull it off, and if everybody's available, and if, you know, blah blah blah. Yeah. So um, it's complex. You know, basically we've said yes to a lot of things as a band, but now we have to figure out the logistics and all that. Right. Well, I know the uh, Latin American fans would be thrilled if you guys finally. Well, got we'd down be there. thrilled too. We never had the opportunity. We've gone yeah. to Mexico City a couple of times, or three times, some, but never went down south proper so on. So it'd be interesting to see those places anyway. But uh, it's once again, you know, it's depending on scheduling and, and uh, you know, festival season is going to start at some point too and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. got to figure out a logical way to sort it all out in a way that the band can be in top form and uh, as opposed to touring too much and be all like a, you know, a wreck. <laughs> well, since you had such a long break, since the last time you were touring, was it easy to get back into the touring vibe or was it a little bit harder to kind of get back in the groove? Well, it's just, it takes a while. It takes about a week. You know, we've done this for a long, long time, but so so it's not completely new. But yeah. but yeah, it takes a bit for your body to adjust. And, you know, a lot of traveling and, and especially in this country, the distances are so very long. So um, so it's like you know, between like what four hundred and eight hundred miles a day, which is very different from Europe, mm-hmm. where you just like like two hours to get anywhere. <laughs> um, how are how's the album sales doing? No clue. No clue. No clue. Uh, I was asking our manager, but he didn't even know. <laughs> so uh, he knows some bits and bobs, but Universal hasn't um, been really providing us with the uh, info regarding the rest of the world. The Razor and Tide, I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know. I've been I've been asking about it, but uh, I guess it's not nothing humongous. So it's tough to say whether the album shit or whether the record sales are just going down uh, as they are. You know, it's, yeah. it's one of those things that you know people always say that you know today a hundred thousand would mean you know a million records back in '92, but uh, I still don't believe it because you know at the end of the day we need some money to be able to tour. <laughs> right. you know? So uh, to be able to uh, you know have our spare strings for the instruments. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the fans were asking because they did. They haven't seen a lot of promotion from the labels themselves. Mm -hmm. It's all been more social media and like the street team yes. and things like that sure. promoting and. Uh, That's because they don't have the money because everybody's downloading the albums. It's a, it's a double edged sword, you know. It's like yeah. in Europe, I think Germany, they do TV advertising and stuff like that. But uh, it's so tough to say what pays off and what what's the reason for an album to do well or not to do well. You know, it's a yeah. it's a combination of so many things. But uh, but. To be honest with you, I don't know. It seems uh, in the UK and in, in the States that uh, there's no reason to put money into advertising because everybody does everything via Facebook and via Twitter and via, via whatnot. So, mm -hmm. so that's the way. It's cheap for them, and uh, and uh, you know that's about it. You know, well, you know, labels are having a tough time, and it's getting harder and harder every day. Do you think you guys would ever try and go without a label? I know some bands are doing that. They're kind of trying to do things on their own, their own distribution, and not going with the big labels to do it. Well, basically, we're doing that because this, uh, we self-finance the album, so it's a licensing deal. Okay. So we licensed the record to, uh, I guess, with some options to uh, to three different labels in the world. So it's kind of halfway there. But the problem is also that uh, the best position to be in as a band is to be able to concentrate on music. Mm -hmm. And if you have to start concentrating on the business side or, you know, too much on the merchandise side or what, whatever, it just becomes an endless, you know, litany of emails. It just, you know, you don't have the time to pick up a guitar anymore. So, uh, well, that's what happened to kids. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I'd, I'd rather, you know, work on the music, the music side, of, side of things. So yeah. I'm glad to have a manager and glad to have those labels that can sort that stuff out on their own. And, but it's also, you know, we had a... With the previous album, you know, or the latest one is the uh, the fact that uh, we we f uh, like finished ninety to five percent of the entire album before we played to any of the companies, and then we released it pretty quick. So we actually didn't have a lot of time to work with the labels and kind of like say hi and figure out like what's the deal and what should be done and whatnot. So everything was kind of rushed. Mm -hmm. So uh, so it might be different next time around. There's a bit more planning, but uh, I don't know. I'm not stressing about it, you know, the, the, the only, if we should stress about anything, it should be this tour. Yeah. So. Well, it seems to be going good. All the fans have been very uh, happy with it, at least all the reviews okay. they're posting online and mm -hmm. talking about. Um, well, that's, that's a bonus. You know, I think that, you know, the most important thing for us, obviously, is the fact that the band's doing well, you know, within. So we're having a good time, you know, on the bus and... and uh, Nobody's been like super ill yet, which is surprising because normally it always happens. Somebody's got, I guess, like a bronchitis or a pneumonia or whatnot because of like, the constant traveling and the AC and all that stuff. So, but it's, it's been okay so far. So, um, so uh, that's the good thing, and I, maybe that translates the good vibes within the band translates on the stage as well towards the audience. So. I don't know. <laughs> well, I have to say, that, I mean, I've seen you guys lots of times, obviously, yeah. by this point, and last night was probably the best I've ever seen you. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, it was really good. Yeah, it's a nice gig. Well, nice venue, too. I like the acoustics. Sounded good. But last time you guys were there, several years ago, yeah. it was Nokia Theater. So it was, yeah, and yeah. that changed the name, yeah. And the lights went out on you at one point. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Well, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Stuff, stuff always happens. This time around, we've had terrible problems with the buses. Yeah. You know, like a, a crew buses, AC broke down it was yesterday. And yeah. we, we've had, like, we just had to be inside of, inside of some, like, random road in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night for eight hours in a row just waiting for <laughs> something to be fixed and so on. There's always some sort of drama. It's not very exciting drama, but it's, nevertheless, it's fairly dramatic for ourselves.